guys, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play FIFA 14. We're back for more games. Um, uh, I'm still Ryuken one. I. He's uh, he's in a league. He's in a Swedish league. Uh, and my team is Hamastads BK versus Ajax. If you don't know Ajax, he's uh, they're really technical team. They're legendary for their dribbling d drills. Um, but yeah, um, and they're pretty famous around Europe. A lot of kids good like new talent go to Ajax to learn all the basics, and then either that or Brazil or just leagues around the world, and then they go and play eventually to Spain or Germany, Italy, uh, England, Japan lately, um, and Brazil. And I'm I'm always excited about playing a new uh, new game, a new a uh, new Xbox game. I'm sorry. Um, so the, um, my team is um, like I said, is Hamastad's BK. Um, besides myself, um, one of the um, key players will be. I believe number 10, not like the forwards, and then there's there's a few uh, defenders. We're ready for another game, and uh, like I said, half of the excitement of the game is waiting for it to happen. Just ready, get ready to start the ball, and here it goes. Starts the ball. Um, if Another thing that I needed to explain also was that there's different types of the players there's the defenders the midfielders and the forwards uh three of each usually so that'll be nine sometimes and then one in between each position sometimes it's a striker for a for a forward or a defender um sometimes they have uh three three four formation which is 10 players plus the the, the goalie and um, oh man the, the thing about this game is that the since the computer is the one making sure that they're the offsides there's gonna be some really close offsides like no way a human could have gotten that there's only like a computer would only be the one that gets that offsides and it'll be really annoying for me and for the other team okay so I want to warn you on that one. I wish there was somewhere to make it more relaxed or they'll have mistakes. Because there was a lot of options for them and for me to make goals. And like I said, um, I'm, this is my second game. And I'm barely getting used to it. So I'm learning how to pass it and how to my team. And throwing... And like I was explaining, um, this game tries to get technical. Um, I mean, uh, it's about strategy, with with like trying to be as fast as possible. Um, so you have the formations to allow for easier passing, or sometimes for um, better defending. Like you'll have four, three, three formation which is four defenders, three midfielders, three forwards. Uh, and that's what usually sometimes most teams do if they're, if they're going against a strong team. If you want to go, if you're uh, a weak team, you probably go two or three defenders, three, three, four. If you're more um, offensive. Right now, I'm just, uh, like I said, getting the hang of it. And this is also in semi-pro. Semi-pro is not an easy... It's on normal mode. I figured that uh, playing it on uh, easy would be way too, would be kind of boring because since I would be scoring all the time. 
And that, that's not the point of this game. The point of this game is to have fun passing it and knowing when to pass and getting close to it and then actually scoring. But it's scoring, you know, earning the score, you know, earning the goal. And that's what, uh, that's the passion of soccer. That, uh, that's why all the other countries love it. And then I encourage people to see the World Cup this year. I believe starts in um, June or May. Um, it's going to be awesome. It's, it's 32 teams against each other. Um, they do elimination. They play three games for your points, and the one and the team with the most points uh, passes to the semifinals, then quarterfinals, then. I'm sorry, eighth finals, quarter finals. Yeah. I don't know. It goes it goes uh, 16, 8, 4, 2, and, and then that's it, of course, the last the final game. So, yeah. Um, uh, but on those, uh, after the three games, it's um, elimination. So, whoever loses gets. Uh, taking out that game. I thought the this uh, this game 2024 I mean FIFA 14 was actually a World Cup game, but it's actually going to come out in May, I believe. I think it's the 4th or the 5th. The 5th month. Um uh, the so it's going to come out and they have they're going to have a world all the world teams. As is the with the accurate um, formations, and if you're a fan of soccer, you'll appreciate some of the some of the players, like renowned players, like uh, Messi. He's, uh, I believe, he's from. No, he's not from Uruguay. Ah. Getting so bad. He's from Argentina. I'm sorry. Um, I had it at the tip of my tongue. Um, yeah, um, I got confused because of the outfit. It's uh, blue stripes on a white shirt. But um, but yeah, um, he's going to be the top. He's probably going to be the top scorer uh, this year on the World Cup. So look out for him. Um, in previous World Cups, there was a uh, our uh, Italy Italy games. Diba, I think his name was Dibagio. Oh, it hit it! Go, go, go! Hell yeah! He went into the corner like he passed it. He gave it to the to the shooter. And right before the the end of the half. Okay. So definitely check out this year's uh, World Cup, and it happens every four years. It's not like the Olympics. Like we'll have uh, winter and summer Olympics. Like what the heck? And that's every two years. And some Olympics are great, some not. But anyways. Back to the World Cup, millions of people watch it. I, it's probably the most watched sport in the world. Even poor countries watch it. Um, if you comparing the ratings from the Super Bowl to the World Cup is like comparing ants to dinosaurs or something. You know, they're just two different. Um, there's no uh, huge commercials, but there is a lot of competition on the sponsors, and you'll be surprised that uh, there's a lot of sponsors, you know, international sponsors that sponsor just one team, like there'll be uh, like a beer commercial, I mean, like a beer um, company sponsoring uh, Italy team, or, or I think Coca-Cola sponsors uh, the Mexico team. 
or uh, you know, just big companies sponsor a team, and then they and then they do commercials for them, and then of course they get rewards for it, and then certain players get commercials. It's huge. I don't think like um, oh, but yeah, that's part of the excitement of the World Cup. Especially the more they, they win, the more that they stay on it. Uh, you'll see the celebrations, not just uh, on the stadium, but internationally. Um, Brazil was hu is huge on their celebrations. Um, they, they do a huge parade for... Um, it's the end of the first half, but um, Brazil... Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the... I, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a festival, and they do a huge parade for it. Uh, well, they have a parade for when they win the World Cups, and they've won four times. Same as... And then Germany has won three times. Argentina, the one that Messi's from, that he could take the World Cup this year. They've won three times. Uh, in the who else has won? France has won once. England has won once. And this started, of course, the World Cup started since, um, I believe, 1908. It was, it was definitely before the, the First World War. But yeah, um, I did a research paper on it. <coughs> but yeah, like, this is a... Uh, it's been going on for a century already, and um, you can see a lot of uh, improvements on it. Oh my god, what a bad pass for me. I don't even know how I was passing. And uh, like I said, it's probably one of those things where the buttons get in the way of a good game. I wish it was just like, you know, the time that you had it, you pressed it, <clears throat> it's gone, the opportunity. But then... The, the computer can't be remembering when you know five seconds after you passed it that's just stupid you don't have this game is so fast that you shouldn't have that kind of lag in between you know skills or you know moves or whatever just like street fighter huh? <clears throat> you can't be remembering that you did a punch uh, you know for 10 seconds even after you did the punch and then because then you'll just die that one's requires quick like like quick reflexes um, that's another game that I want to bring to the channel because it's so awesome especially playing it online this we get so much strategy oh, I got another off they got another offsides um, but yeah but watch the World Cup if you get a chance um, sure he wants to go off but maybe they're just thinking ahead. and then just try it try soccer game. soccer is hell of fun you'd be surprised how time. much fun people have in in camps and whatever oh another rough side oh no it's a, a goal kick. it's a kick direct kick did they usually do uh substitutions on direct direct kicks <clears throat> direct kicks when the ball goes out of bounds when the ball stopped for an injury or something so oh they hit it go 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 and right before the the end of